the rheumatoid, which I've had for 35, 40 years, and you sort of get used to it, and it's just a question of managing it, really. They check up on me once a year, blood test, breathing test, everything, give me like an MOT. Uh, obviously go to the local doctors once a month for blood checks. Had a heart attack, had a stent fitted, had a hip replacement seven, eight, nine years ago. Yeah, I've got COPD, so I've got 53% breathing capacity, which is not very good. So I quit smoking two and a half years ago. I had a knee operation, new knee left, having the right knee uh, replaced, new one, approximately September time. Frailty, it means uh, someone that's uh, possibly very weak. Uh, someone who needs probably a lot more looking after and nourishment. Generally an older person. Walking down the street, like Ben, I can't stand up. That's frail and very, very thin. That to me is frailty. Frailty to me means someone who is fragile, someone who is weak, someone who is restricted and someone who is losing their independence and they're all words which absolutely terrify me. If you come and you do an exercise, it makes you feel good when you leave. You feel more upright. I found that walking up the stairs was an effort. I can run up the stairs now, take the dog for a walk more with my wife and I feel 100% better than I did a year ago. I've never felt so fit for my age. Well, this type of activity, what it does to you, it gets your brain going. So I do about an hour and a quarter, hour and a half, and the brain's buzzing, the muscles are working. You just enjoy the day. I used to play golf, but I've had a hip and a knee replacement, so I find that a wee bit harder now. So that's sort of gone the way by a little bit. Go down the beach, uh, try and have a walk, gardening, and just generally, uh, yeah, stay active in that respect, yeah. Staying active reduces risks of um, cardiovascular diseases like uh, heart attacks, angina, many, many, many health diseases. And it doesn't have to be the most strenuous of exercise. You know, most of our customers, they help each other when they've got to do the gardening, they've got to do this and that. So there's more to exercise than the actual workout, you know. But you've also got people that you see quite often and you strike up friendships and sometimes you can actually encourage each other if you can sort of like have a gym buddy then that encourages you to come but also to work that little bit harder. I suppose that there's so many people who don't exercise and sit indoors all day they will sort of get stiff, they will have to go to the doctors. Camp is really good because they are a community, it's quite a small island. We're just ordinary elderly people who want to maintain you know, what we've got. I mean, the world shrinks as you get older and you don't want that to happen any sooner than it has to. I think if everyone looked after a neighbour, especially an older neighbour, uh, the world would be a better place and uh, you'd be surprised. Uh, you'd feel a lot better about yourself. I'm a befriender and I just talk to them about everything. Bring them up if they're down, I'll bring them up. I can do that, it's nice. We're all going to get old one day, you know, so think about it and uh, that neighbour up the road, you know, just give them a knock because they might really appreciate it and look out for them. It's better than sitting indoors, just watching telly or listening to the radio. Get out and meet the people. What we do works. So most of our members, they're as healthy as they can be. We speak to them about their lifestyle, about their nutrition, we talk to them about that. We let them know the health risks that they're running. You know, we also tell them the benefit of specific exercises. I, th I think the government, they, they kind of feel that when you're old, you can't do anything. If you put something in, you'll get something out. And if you're sitting on your bum all day, you know, it's, it's not good for you. If you're with other people, that encourages you to do all sorts of things. A healthy mind is a healthy body, and I do believe that. I do believe it. It's down to Joe Bloggs, it's down to you at the end of the day to put your pennies worth in and uh, just to help people. And what we saw from that group of people we saw in Canary Island was people who were willing to take control and make that effort and not be isolated and not become vulnerable. At Healthwatch Essex, we believe the lived experience of everybody in the county should be listened to. 
and it's about going out and engaging people where they are. It means capturing those experiences which others wouldn't have listened to, and I think that's part of the narrative around the Essex success regime. We want it to be a success, but we need those people to be involved and give their stories. It means sitting on your ass and doing nothing, <laughs> and no, no exercises. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you for that. Um, I'm not sure we're going to be able to use that. No, okay. <laughs>